Bruh! What'd you find? <laughs> oh my. I don't see any rust on that undercarriage. Hey, welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and this is... B. McQueen. And you are... B. McQueen. And she is... I'm B. McQueen. She's B. McQueen. We got a 1972 Volkswagen Super Beetle right here behind us. And as you've seen from the previous videos, this is something that... Um, it's got a lot of junk in it. So today we're gonna go through it and see what kind of treasures are on there. It could be anything. It could be meatballs. It could be VHS cassettes. It could be money. It could be used condams. <laughs> Anyways, this 1972 Super Beetle behind us here has a lot of junk in it. So we're gonna tear it up and see what's in it today. You know what's in there? No idea. Yeah, we don't really know. I mean, we dig through it real quickly just to check out the rust issues, but we're gonna tear into it with some depth right now. And whatever garbage goes, in a trash can. The last time I tore through Gregory, there was a lot of stuff that I threw out that people whined and cried, oh my God, don't throw that away. But it, you know, if it went in the trash or I mishandled it, it's because it was junk. <laughs> and this is gonna be no different. So in the trash it goes, if it's not something I can use or if it has no value to me or if it has no value that I can't sell it, obviously I'm making the right decision. So in the trash it goes. Anyways, like you like, comment, subscribe, check out duckshit.net and we'll be back right after the intro. All right, B, go ahead and pop that hood open. Reach in the dashboard there, in the glove box, and pull on that big cable. You got it. Oh, did you break it? <laughs> well, it worked. Okay. It's not broken. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. We got a piece of a funnel. Helps if I get it in the trash can, but it missed. Let's put the trash can in front and center over here. Where it's easy to get it in there. Newspaper, what you got? Check for the date on there. December of 96. December of 96. I guess this is the same thing. That's pretty consistent with the 30 years that I've been told it was sitting. It's only 24 years, but that doesn't mean anybody didn't just throw some trash Fat in there. Fur. Fat free. Fat fur. Fat free. Fat free. Fat free. Fat free. Fat free. Fat free. <laughs> I got a speaker, which is pretty rusty. I'm not going to keep that. Plate with brake fluid. Brake fluid? Jeez, there's almost nothing in there. More brake fluid. Almost nothing in there either, huh? Yeah. Okay, this stuff needs to be disposed of properly, you guys. Don't throw this in the landfill. I will take care of that, but for now, it's going in the trash can. What you got? This is the owner's manual. It looks like the original owner's manual, which apparently got a little bit wet. Yeah. Volkswagen Diagnostic and Maintenance. Might be valuable to somebody. Not valuable to me. Pull this spare tire out. More brake fluid, and once again, take it to your local disposal place. Don't throw it in a landfill. Chandelier dingly doos. A dingleberry. Oh, a pretty I... beautiful dingleberry. I'll show it to the camera. Show everybody what it is. And what else you got in that little box there? Pull it out. The you screws, huh? Yeah, well, hang on to those. Those might be useful for I something. I want the little doodly doo. You can have the doodly doo. Okay. This is the windshield washer bottle. It was clasped in the side over here, kind of where it belongs, so that actually looks like it's good. Now, this is a good find. This was underneath the hood when the guy showed me the car and he left it in there. So clearly he doesn't care that I've got it. So this is the second Husqvarna chainsaw that I have of this size. This one looks a little worse for wear, but um, we're going to see if I can rebuild it, repair it, or run it. Maybe I'll have a second one. That'd be kind of cool. Got some of the original cardboard mat that was in there. And I got a tube for the heater tubes. Fresh air system. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Another spare tire? Yeah. So we actually had two spare tires in here. That's a bonus. Piece of PVC pipe. Garbage. Hey. Obviously doesn't want to be garbage. Muff garbage. Cabbage. Muff cabbage. We got some more heater tube. Got more newspaper. Bronstein spine furniture. More newspaper. Is it the same paper? Yeah. Probably. Well, 96. And we got here. It looks like. Oh, that is the um, windshield washer bottle hose, the piece that attaches to the spare tire. Oh, that's going to be good to keep. That's what that is, you guys, if you see it. We got a fan belt here that's really bad. Stiff. Not rotten, though, but it's really stiff. 
You know what? I'm going to keep it because I'm a cheap bastard. We might actually be able to use that. And this looks like it's a piece of a radio antenna that broke off, so. It's a Goodyear service invoice date from 86. 86? Yeah, it's older than me. 86, wow. No kidding, 620 of 86. For those of you who get? don't know, I just turned 31. Check the air pressure. Something, something, auto tire spin and four valves. How much did they charge them? I'm trying to read it, but it looks like it's $2,372.31. There's too many digits in there for the kind of work that's done. I don't know why that is. It's in such bad shape that I don't think that uh, we're gonna get any more <laughs> record than that. Out it goes. Oh, that's part of that radio antenna that we were talking about. Out it goes. Sometimes see you like nut. Anything else in there? Let's see, you've got brake fluid. How's that doing? Completely empty. I think the master cylinder is not even in this car because the owner said that, uh, well, the previous owner said that he was going to try to replace it because he had a brake problem the last time he dealt with this car at all. All right, that's what we got under the trunk here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rust on top of the gas tank, but nothing too severe. Interior muff. Yep, we got some muff here, which I'm just going to pull out because, ow. It looks like it's in pretty rough shape, so we'll just get rid of it. Okay. Muff cabbage! Let's go ahead and get inside the car and see what we got in there. <laughs> Tear it up. We're all excited. What's in there? <laughs> We're missing hubcaps. What do you got? Hubcaps? Yeah. They look pretty really good. Uh, you know, that one's usable. Yeah. That one's wall art. You have any wall art at home, Volkswagen? No. Now you do. Yay. Put some glass in here. Because now you do glass art. I do. These look like they're pretty good. That yeah. one's just gnarly. Yeah, that one's gnarly. That's wall art. Okay, well, that's not bad. These can be cleaned up. They look pretty rusty, but I'll show you guys how to do this. You can clean up these hubcaps that uh, are even that rusty and make them look brand new again. Cat piss? No, no, actually. I mean, you could, but uh, it might hurt the chrome, but um, yeah, I'll show you a way. What do you got? Screwdriver. Is it any good? Yeah. Looks good to me. Put it in the driveway there where we can find it. Oh, that's for the gas pedal. The gas pedal pulley. That's a little guy that the gas pedal slides against as it pushes it in and out. I'm gonna put that in a safe place. I should have brought us a little cardboard box for throwing things in. What'd you find? A tattoo encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Choose from over a thousand of the Let hottest tattoo see. designs for your new ink. There you go. It's basically an I want this. Let's copy somebody else's tattoos. Yep. Not surprised, these cars turn into storage lockers for all kinds of things. Sanding paper? Mm -hmm. That's pretty rough, I'm gonna let that go. Gloves. Gloves. Knee brace. A knee brace, ew. This is like stuff that's been on people's bodies. That's kind of gross. Speaking of gross. Oh, Pepsi. It's got shit in it. It's got shit in it. Wonder if it's actually shit. Probably not. Look at that. Probably Floaters. And I was about to open it up. No, we're not gonna open it. Probably. We don't know what we're gonna let out of that. Some COVID-21 or something. Oh, it's this is pretty sequel cool. To it. Well, it's still it's been opened. Once it's been opened, there's two things. You don't know if anybody put something else in there. And two, brake fluid is hydroscopic. And what that means is it pulls water into it. So once it gets wet, you don't want that in your brake system. I think this is the console. That is the console tray. That's not a stock feature. This will be something really, really nice. And it will fit in your Carmen Ghia. So if you want one, that'll be good to have. That's in good shape. It's not rust, of course, plastic. So. That's the door pocket. Any money in there? Looks like grease. Yeah. It is grease. Yeah, it's grease. High temperature disc brake wheel bearing grease. In fact, there's a bearing seal inside of there, so this looks like somebody had changed out the bearings at some point. That grease looks terrible. It emulsified. Huh. A tape cassette. What we got? New kids on the block? No, it's a, nope. just, a, just a blank. Yeah, it's a blank. Any dates on that one? No, That's a curious thing. Oh, sometimes they date stamp this stuff. Sony. New Jersey, 07649. Actually, it's pretty close to where I lived. How about that? In fact, it said Kinder Kamak Road on it. Hang on a second here. Let me read that off again. I know where Kinder Kamak Road is. Spoon. All right. 680 Kinder Kamak Road, Oradell, New Jersey. That's like 10 minutes from where I used to live. Amazing. Spoon. Why do I always find spoons in my cars? <laughs> Eleanor had a spoon. This had a spoon. White Beetle had a spoon. 
I've got a whole collection of Volkswagen spoons, so this is gonna have to be out of the collection for sure. Looks like you got a brake shoe. That's the beginning stages of delaminating itself. How that goes. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a lawnmower blade. Well, there's another one. It's rusty, but uh, is it worn? Yeah, I guess it's worn. Out it goes. That one looks like it's brand new. But it's smaller than anything I use. Out it goes. Squeegee. Very important to keep in a classic air-cooled Volkswagen. The reason why is your windshield will fog up and the defroster's on there. If your, this is the caveat, if your heater channels are intact, the heater tubes are intact, your heater boxes are intact, nothing has any leaky holes in it, the windshield would defrost itself properly, but it's slow about doing it. This is highly effective at just taking care of that windshield. So keep one in your Volkswagen, but not an old one like that. What you got? Yeah. Oh, careful. Careful. Careful, careful. A couple reasons. One, this looks like it's a piece of the hood. I don't know if you made it any worse than it was, but we might be able to salvage it and save it. Because the hood has no chrome on it, and this is pretty mangled now. I mean, it was... Be really careful when you pull those out of there. If it doesn't come out easily, stop it. We'll pull it from a different direction. Because yeah. there's one other piece we're looking for, and if it's in there, we might be able to save it. Ooh, glove box. A glove box? Yeah. What's on the glove box? Oh, shit. It's an old first aid kit. First aid kit? Yeah. Any good? Some of it, probably. Some of it's good? Yeah. I don't know. Let's open it up and see. It's, it's full of roach shit. Yeah. yeah, it's roach shit. I wouldn't open it. It's just full of roach shit. Man. It's cool, though. I got here five Rose convenient flares. local valuable papers. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? This is documentation to the car. Road flares. <laughs> Road flares. You've got an invoice that's blank. All the ink has faded off of it. Another invoice covered in road shit. This is, says it's a um, Carmen Gear. Obviously, it's not from this car. Carmen Gear was worked on. It says um, whoever it was obviously had more than one Volkswagen. Carefully check one of the blank, I can't read it, it's faded, something under state law exceeded $50. Apparently tires and wheels balanced under warranty and the date says 1999, $58. Even though it was under warranty, 911 of 99 for a Carmen Ghia, not this car clearly. Let's see what we got in here. We got some more paperwork, looks like it belongs to this vehicle. Invoice, date. No date on this one. Whatever it was in for, it was in for $10.69. Ooh, this is a good one. This one's completely illegible. 86. 86, wow. And it's in really good shape. That's not too bad. Ooh. Vehicle registration, 1989. 909, the VIN number. That's the one that matches this car. 89, 31 years ago. Check air pressure, auto tire spin balance, includes life of original tread, wheel balance, alignment, rotation, flat repairs, pro-rated, road hazard replacement, one flat repair, two flush and stop leak. Volkswagen 71, no it's not this one. Whoever this was had more than one Volkswagen. In fact, it's got a different name on it. It's not even the same name as the person that owned this. Sears. Yeah, so this is a different vehicle. 1986, wrong name also. This is probably for somebody else. 1972 Volkswagen Type 1, pulling to right. Alignment check. Alignment check. This one has the right name. 1986 registration. Right name, 1990 registration. Here's your 1991 registration. 1991, that's the right name. Yep. Advertisement for a bank. Lifetime tire. <laughs> Look at all these tire warranties. They keep buying tire 96. warranties. I think tire warranties are nonsense. They just try to get you on that because chances are, what are you going to go back for? A, a tire plug or a new valve? Come on. <laughs> this is the right name also. This is 1989. Pretty consistent with 30 years since the last time this thing has been run and drove. Run and driven. Sorry guys, grammar. Okay, what do we got? This is the right name. Original used tires. 1985. Were you born yet in 85? No. <laughs> I Leaner was type. eight. <laughs> I don't even know where my parents are. I'm going to hang on to these. I'm not going to throw these away. This is going to stay record with this car. A nasty, dirty, scuzzy blanket. Can I pull the seat forward? Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. 
That's the back seat. Any sex back there? Uh, I don't see any. And right, I don't pull want my back seat out. <laughs> Wonder if it's any good. <clears throat> eh, it's got some holes in it. They almost always do. Oh, that's my nuts. Oh. Yeah, so that needs a little help. Oh. Man, I got a smell. No, maybe seeds. Baby seals? Maybe sneeze. Oh, well, let it go. Man. I'm gonna open the door to let the uh, air through for you. Ooh. Well, if there's any dust in there, it'll blow through. More documents. More Keys. documents. Documents. Keys. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no, is that the right key for it even? That'd be really cool if I had a second key for it. We'll try that later in this video. Registration for the wrong name for a different vehicle. Also the wrong name, different vehicle. A 1969 Beetle, this one was insured to envelope oh man the date's gone these people have one. had more than one volkswagen obviously they had a carmen Ghia and a 69 beetle which was probably the type one that we saw that uh mm -hmm. this is still really good yeah still good shape mm -hmm. that's kind of neat just because it looks weird from what you usually find in modern cars we're going to hang on to that Ooh. do you need 48 plastic forks yes okay 48 plastic garbage oh my god that's a tire pressure gauge. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty worse for wear. It looks like a cheap Chinese one. I can guarantee you that's more recent. Uh, Stuff years ago was made better than it does nowadays. A shirt? Yeah. Throw it in the trash. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> it feels like a crusty jizz sock. It is a crusty jizz sock. 19... I can't read that. 3-7 of something. That one also said Gia on it, though. Oh, that just came off. piece of PVC pipe. This is a spark plug tool. That, you know I recognize it, but I don't know why. Somebody out in Volkswagen world watching this video will be able to tell me what that's from, but I don't remember. I'm gonna put it on the ground and hang on to it. You do have another invoice. I can't read this one at all. Torque settings, something about tires. This is a teeny tiny ruler. A wooden ruler. A light bulb. That's pretty bad shape. Toss it. That'd be good. Nope, one of the filaments is gone. Screw. You want to? I mean, no. Want to screw? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, it's a pipe. You put your pipe in there, your, your uh, copper pipe to clean it before you sweat your pipes. Want a sweaty pipe? Yeah. I'm going to change camera angle over here real quick. More oh. light bulbs. Maybe not, because you're showing us a good angle right now. I just keep working. Right. Another light bulb. That one's good. Yeah? No, never mind. It's coming out of the base. Uh. <laughs> Construction pencil. And then it's just candy wrappers. Candy wrappers? Candy wrappers. Like, like M&M? Like individual candy, <laughs> like mints or something. <laughs> this here. It's a cool puppy. Oh. Pennies. Pennies from heaven. Get some money. These are always cool to look at. Let's figure out if there's anything in here that's valuable. Just stick that stuff on the roof and we'll find it. Bondo. <laughs> what if it's any pocket. good? Two things of... Oil? Uh, heavy duty engine stop from the dollar store. Engine stop? Engine stop leak? Stop. That's not a surprise. All folks right now engine leak. Stop ack because something's missing. Stop ash. Stop ash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. Stop, Stop ash. This is something I need to dispose of, but again, it's got to go into a special place along with the brake fluid, which got more buried than I thought it would. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to fish those out of the trash can because not environmentally safe to leave it in the trash. Before the end of the video, you guys will see me pull it out of the trash. Uh, cream hardener. Oh, well. <laughs> You might need that. That actually belongs to the Bondo. It looks like somebody was going to do work on this car. I never got that far. I wonder if the Bondo was any good. This can is like rusted closed. Oh, you might want to keep this. Positive shield. Yep, covers the battery. Yay. Stops fat people from shorting out the back seat. And yes, that's actually what it does. I'm not hating on fat people. It's actually fact. Come on, Bondo. Open your fucking eyes. Oh, that made it worse. What is this? Distributor cap. 
it's obviously used, so I'm not going to try to save that. Oh, you know what? This is good. I was wondering why I was getting sticky. It's because it's leaking. Woo! And I can smell it now, too. All right, well, we're going to leave that on the side. That was probably an unopened can. More papers. Super Beta Prostate. <laughs> Okay, well the man that owned this car, he was very, very old, so it's anybody's guess as to um, what was wrong with his nutsack. The essential blanket. The perfect blanket for every activity. Maybe that's what I just threw away, that stinky ass blanket. Ass blanket. Got some Haveline. Another screwdriver. Screwdrivers are always good. 5W30, wrong oil to put in a Volkswagen. Used abortion kit. A used abortion kit. You may want to cut that. <laughs> Probably why it's rusty. Actually, it fell apart on its own. Didn't have to cut it. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not from a Volkswagen. Talk about brittle plastic. That is old. Oh. Condams? No, it still has brownie bit in it. Oh, it's a brownie. Ew. Not open Pillsbury brownies. Ew. That the bugs chewed through the package and obviously lived in there and ate the damn brownies. <laughs> It's a little thing to open your pink can. A church key. Oh, did you do yours? Yeah, I could have used that on the Bondo can, actually. It's too bad I didn't find it sooner. I'm gonna hang on to that. And there we got, looks like the carpet from behind the back seat. Is that what it is? Exactly what it is. Yeah. This nasty shirt is gonna get thrown away. This There's carpet, a... however, we're gonna try to save. <laughs> Still attached to something. This oh, is a seatbelt. That's the seatbelt. There's nothing left of it. It deteriorated. I haven't seen that happen before. This carpet I'm gonna try to keep. More money. And money. then it's just, it's literally just like There's debris. a fork there. Yeah. Pop that. <laughs> I got it. Show them. Look, there it is. Poppy toppy. In the trash. You got it all. It's just shit now. It's shit. Did you get under here? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's go around the other side and see what we got. It's shit. <laughs> it's a shit show, that's for sure. Start tearing some stuff out of there and see what we got. Looks like somebody's seat mat. Nasty, scuzzy seat mat with the springs all rusted in it. A little brake to do that. Ah, the brake push rod. Previous owner had told me that he started to take the uh, master cylinder apart, so that's from that screwdriver and a wheel cylinder, which has a broken off. No, wait a minute, is that broken off? Yeah, it's got a broken off bleeder valve. I could probably repair that, but these are only like seven dollars each. Out it goes. Okay, um, Mr. Limpy, this is <laughs> this is probably our trim that goes right here. I'll see if I can fix that. Maybe I can. <laughs> a chisel. Might be useful. I got some oh, got shitty stainless steel nuts. You got a cassette tape. <laughs> Rough side of the mountain. Oh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if it's anything like Brokeback Mountain. Okay. Got a plastic bag and a pillow. Rotten, nasty pillow. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. Shark. A shark. Sharp. Sharp. An open knife. Looks like one of them cheap Chinese knives. Oh, a bone. I've got one. <laughs> that one might be bigger. Yeah, that one's definitely much bigger. That's a whole two and a quarter inches. <laughs> that is a condenser from a distributor, but I'm not gonna even try to use that looking mat shape. It looks like it's been wet for a while. Rusty nail clippers. It's usually you find these lanyards on a keychain. Lanyards go out trash. This looks like it might be the little uh, the battery wire goes through there to the starter in the body. I'm gonna hang on to that. Oh, that's for pulling off the hubcaps. It's actually a mini crowbar, but it's serviceable. I can use that. Bruh! What'd you find? They're Hold not real. Up. 
They're not real. They can't be real. I couldn't fool you. No. I stuffed them in there earlier. No, they can't be real. <laughs> Did you get excited at first though? I saw it and then I felt it and I was like, yeah. it's not real. <laughs> yeah, I have a whole bunch of that fake money laying around. Some time ago, I actually was given $10,000 of them. No, don't throw them out. I love these things. They I stick don't them. feel right. It's okay. I stick them under, under rugs and like bars and stuff. So when people see them, they just see the $100. <laughs> yeah. Here's a special place in hell for you. <laughs> I tried to give you money. What you got in there? I see a can. Peepus. Peepus. It's literally just a handful of crap. Crap aside it. Oh wait, what is that? There you go. More evidence of brake shoes having been replaced. I wonder which wheel he was working on. Don't know because when I do Volkswagen, I replace all the brakes. So I'm gonna go through all the wheels. I don't have any idea how long ago or how recent that even was, but uh, he says he did what he did. Scope, this is the top to the Bondo. Uh, so that's going in the trash too. Oh, you got wood. Yeah, that's where we got all the documents for the... <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the back seat tray, isn't it? Oh my God. What is that even attached to? Uh -huh. Long string. Out goes. Put that with the seat. That's salvageable. Ooh, a penny. A whole penny. Clink. Awesome. Peanut shells too. We'll probably have to go through there with the shop back and suck all that shit out of it. All that money. Oh my god. I know, like a whole ten cents. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck that is. What's that? Mm. Oh, it's a ball gag. That is definitely not a ball hmm? gag. Put this in your mouth and then you stretch this around the back of your head. Do not do that. That is not a ball gag. Yeah, well it is now. Oh, I ain't using it. We're gonna use this later. No. I'll use it. No. You can tie me up. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh my. Got a good view of your undercarriage there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't see any rust on that undercarriage. All right, well, we're back. That was rather interesting. Yeah, you always find a lot of junk inside of these cars. It was kind of neat finding a chainsaw, two spare tires, and a lot of tools, hand tools, screwdrivers in particular. We got uh, three, four screwdrivers, a little crowbar, and some other little stuff. Just little pieces, parts, rollers for throttle pedals, and just the brake shaft um, push rod, which are unusually expensive nowadays because nobody's re reproducing one for some reason. I don't know why. They only get originals. You also found some money? Yeah. How much money we get in there? Uh, your fake hundos. How many of those? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. You didn't count them? No. <laughs> They're fake. <laughs> They're fake. They're fake. Because it's money. Women see green, they get excited. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's, I've been doing it wrong. She's been doing it wrong all along. How many pennies you got in there? I have a dime. For a small. dime? Yeah. A dime. A Can dime. we smoke it? Probably not. Oh, you can try. A dime. Okay. <laughs> 27 cents. God damn, how many cars in a row? There's, there's no cars at all for the last 20 minutes, and now it's like one after the next here, damn brigade. 27 cents. 27 cents, so we got $500 and 27 cents. One of them's a wheat penny. One of them's a wheat penny, so it might be worth more than just a penny on the market. 1950. 1950. Mm -hmm. Although the newest penny in there is a 2017. That's a reasonably good shape, too. Mm -hmm. Just needs to be cleaned. Yep. The rest of these are pretty, uh, Pretty scuzzy. Some of them are a little burned up. It looks like the battery acid got them and uh, really oh, did its number on there. <laughs> yeah, that one's got a missing. hole in it. Yeah. Battery acid got it. Touching it is probably a no-no. There still might be some acid on it. It's still active. Not enough probably to do any damage to it anyway. It's yeah. probably neutralized from all that zinc. What we got there? Flares. Oh, I was talking about what was bouncing. Oh, my titties. <laughs> Instructions. In the event of road emergency, we're having one. Pull the car as far as possibly to the right. That's left, so I guess we'll have to look at it this way. We're right. Remove the road flare from bag. Light inside of star area. Do not throw in car. Set burning road flare 300 feet. Added safety. Leave tail lights on and left turn signal. So people think you're going to merge back into the road. Why would you do that? Instead of your four ways? Maybe back then when this was produced, cars didn't have four ways? Is that emergency flashers, right? That's a four-way. There's an emergency. Do you flash? I could. Well, it might work. Is it required? 
It says non-toxic and safe around kids. Well, let's find out if it's any good. Is it wet? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not at all what I expected it to be. Light inside the star area. Okay, we're gonna pull out a torch. Whoa. We're gonna pull out a torch and see just what happens when we light it. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for licky, liking, comment, and thanks for the subscriptions. You guys, check out B. She's got her own YouTube. She's got her own Patreon. She's got her own everything. And in order to find it, you have to go to duckshit.net up here in the corner. Make sure you guys find that link. It's down below. Also in the video description. Clicky clocky takes you to her website as her stuff continues to grow. <laughs> she gets better and better every day. So do we right here on this channel. Anyways, this project's gonna be a fun one. Mm -hmm. It's a 1972. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I like my cars like I like my women. Gotta have a lot of curves. Oh. Front and back. Yeah, old too. Okay. Old and curvy. Old and curvy. You're not old enough yet, sorry. You know, they ain't my type. No. You gotta get another like 30 years on you. No, that's you be how, alive? That's how old Eleanor is. Mm -hmm. 30 years? I'll be alive in 30 okay. years. I'll be 73. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll be like, yeah, all bald on top. You'll need those prostate pills we found. I'll have a, a spongy <laughs> run Jeremy half sized. Oh dick. no. <laughs> no. A spongy tic tac. A spongy tic tac. It'll be like sucking on a gummy bear. Oh. What? Oops. Gummy bear's bigger than a tic tac, though. This is true. I guess it grew as I got older. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. That's it. Light the inside of the star area. I don't know if that did it or not. Maybe. It's smoking. It's definitely burning, but... in pretty bad shape it's just been wet too many times well, we'll see what happens it might all of a sudden just ignite but i think the moisture just got to it and, and took the the potency out of it yeah so one could say it's become in, impotent oh man yeah no but the smoke in the middle was kind of cool it's... i have a lot of that Ew. comes out like peanut butter oh god I haven't used it in a while you need to get that checked no i need to get it out <laughs> cleaner. Does not want to go out, huh? All right. This one is for you enviro weenies. They're telling me that I'm throwing out brake fluid. Obviously, I'm not leaving that in the trash. It's going to go to the center and have it recycled. There it is. Done. Little box there, pull it out too. Whip, show, show everybody what's in your box. <laughs> it's just screws and more you little. You got screwed in the box? I wish. It could be used condoms. You it could really be. on this used condoms kick. It's because they're everywhere in my house. Oh. Oh. You want a tattoo book? I do not. I just saw tits. What do you want it? Huh? I saw tits. Where? <laughs> I don't know, there was like a photo of a tits with tattoos across it. That wasn't it. They're in there somewhere. We'll find them later. I don't know, what do you want me to do? Do a little dance when I say it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Hi, James Queen! Yeah, I'm, I'm a real boy! <laughs> Hopefully not. Not last Yeah, we don't want a real boy with. No, that's, that's for another video and that's not on my channel. <laughs>